From refusing to follow through on the promises made in prior entries and trailers, to just generally not giving an audience what they understandably expected coming into the cinematic experience. The folks behind these movies had no intention of gifting their viewers with glorious beats and reveals. That felt about as inevitable as forking out on a ridiculously priced tub of popcorn yet again. Gareth here from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 movie moments everybody was waiting for that never happened. Number 10. Tom Cruise's Iron Man Joins the Illuminati – Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness While he would more than make his presence felt in the heat of this summer's blockbuster box office battle with his $1 billion mega-hit return to all things Maverick, a great many fans were actually expecting to witness Tom Cruise shake up the cinematic system a few weeks earlier during a certain MCU offering. On the back of Patrick Stewart's Professor Xavier making a jaw-dropping appearance as the assumed leader of the Illuminati in trailers for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, rumors of Tom Cruise rocking up as a Tony Stark slash Iron Man variant, acting as a knowing nod to his almost casting as the hero years earlier, began to understandably intensify. But despite the film's screenwriter Michael Waldron actually running this much-wanted development by Kevin Feige, he later informed Rolling Stone that Cruise was likely never a possibility due to his shooting of the next few Mission Impossible flicks at the time. Ah, oh, what a downer. Number 9. Dinosaurs Actually Trying to Coexist with Life on Earth – Jurassic World Dominion Dinosaur diehards the world over would have likely given just about any dodgy development that unfolded over the course of Jurassic World Dominion's 146-minute runtime a solid pass had it simply stuck to what it said on the tin. Said tin in the form of the prior film's closing sequence and the most recent entry's many trailers told the story of dinosaurs now being unleashed on our own world, with humans and the many other species of animal on the planet now being forced to coexist with the prehistoric beasties. Instead, outside of a few fleeting sequences involving bizarre dino wrangling and laser-guided raptors on the streets of Malta, most of the Jurassic action is once again lazily focused on an enclosure sealed off from the rest of civilization. And rather than the feature and sometimes feathered players being the center of attention, a swarm of genetically altered locusts act as the film's real substantial threat to overcome. Then just to really rub it in, fans are once again teased with the film they wanted all along with a closing sequence depicting the likes of a Mosasaurus deep sea diving with some whales. This, we wanted this. Number 8. A Major Death at Some Point – Captain America Civil War for all of the brilliance conjured up by the likes of Kevin Feige and the gang over the course of the first two phases of MCU action, one piece of criticism regularly sent the studio's way came in the form of an apparent reluctance to commit to the sight of any of their key super protagonists biting the dust. That all looks set to change with the arrival of the Russo brothers Phase 3 starting Captain America Civil War, however, with the Avengers 2.5 of sorts teasing some serious fatalities in its initial trailers. Yet, by the time the dust had ultimately settled on this 2016 flick, a much teased roady death mid civil skirmish acted as little more than a swerve, with War Machine instead being gifted with leg braces on the back of being paralyzed during the fight. And outside of the likes of the forgettable crossbones, a getting on a little Peggy Carter, and King T'Chaka, it's safe to say this still epic outing didn't quite deliver on the jaw dropping casualty front. Number 7. We Live in a Society Zack Snyder's Justice League Sitting as easily one of the biggest talking points heading into Zack Snyder's long-awaited and much-discussed spin on the Justice League in 2021, a trailer depicting a return in Jared Leto's Joker unleashing the phrase, we live in a society, very nearly melted the internet before the colossal flick had even landed on HBO Max. So with this infamous phrase being utilized in many a Joker-infused graphic over the years, and clearly being a beat many were eagerly awaiting to hear trickle onto the scene, much like Bart Simpson's classmates in that particular meme, it came as something of an unexpected surprise to many when the trailer zinger was completely omitted from the initial and finally finished article. Never want to shy away from giving his notably vocal fanbase what they want, Snyder would later restore this infamous utterance in the feature's Justice is Grey variant. But you can bet more than a few folks who only chose to sit through this marathon DC epic the one time were a little underwhelmed about this original version of society not actually coming to pass on the needlessly condensed screen. Number 6. The Scouring of the Shire The Lord of the Rings The Return of the King 
While very few would likely be in too much of a rush to add yet another sequence onto the closing stages of the never-ending conclusion of Peter Jackson's take on J.R.R. Tolkien's legendary trilogy, those who grew up adoring the Lord of the Rings novels upon which these flicks were based on were still likely left scratching their heads at the lack of one rather pivotal beat from the pages. Acting as a brutal reminder of the fact that evil still very much remains in Middle-earth, despite the fall of the mighty Sauron, upon returning to the Shire, our lovable hobbits discover that the dastardly wizard Saruman has actually taken over their unassuming home and all but destroyed it. This leads to the likes of Frodo, Sam, Merry and Pippin taking the fight to the enemy one more time, and ultimately overcoming Saruman and his forces. In the end though, Jackson opted to merely hint at the scouring of the Shire in a Frodo flash forward when looking into the mirror of Galadriel, and denied diehard Rings fans the chance to see this last battle for Middle-earth in all its glory. Number 5. A Need for Speed – Top Gun Maverick Despite undoubtedly igniting the imaginations of most of the damn planet, this Top Gun legacy sequel for the ages did still lack a certain beat that many were desperately waiting to hear let loose just one more time. And with everything from the iconic Talk To Me Goose, a piano rendition of Great Balls of Fire, to even the rousing use of Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone being respectfully present throughout, the complete lack of even a reference to arguably the first film's most iconic one-liner felt surprisingly jarring in its absence. I'm of course talking about the back and forth first immortalized by Maverick and Goose. With the iconic pilot, I feel the need, the need for speed, being up there with the most quotable lines in cinema history. Sure, its revival may have felt a little contrived if executed poorly, but judging from the way Joseph Kaczynski handled every other callback to the 1986 jet flick, there's little doubt the director could have made this crowd-popping beat work too if he felt the need. Number 4. Deathstroke vs. Batman – Ben Affleck's Batman Movie there was once a time when Warner Brothers were very much set on the idea of Ben Affleck helming a solo outing for his version of the iconic Bat. That would see said caped crusader come up against a rather mouth-watering obstacle, as teased in the end credits sequence that followed a deeply lackluster first crack at a DCEU Justice League, Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke was very much set to duke it out with Bruce Wayne over the course of said Bat flick, with the actor himself noting how the flick would have been a dark story, involving his slave Joseph Wilson dismantling Bruce's life from the inside. Side out. In the end, this project and a proposed solo spin-off wouldn't ultimately see the light of day, with Affleck dropping out as director of The Batman and ultimately being replaced by Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson in both the director and leading man positions respectively. And for all those hoping to witness a long-awaited skirmish between the two DC titans in Zack Snyder's Justice League, the sight of the duo fighting for the same side in that film's nightmare epilogue acted as little more than a consolation prize. Number 3. Sure Finding Answers on the Engineer's Homeworld – Alien Covenant the follow-up to Ridley Scott's Prometheus decided to pretty much erase any and all evidence of the sci-fi prequel flick that came before it. And while it's fair to note that not everyone was entirely on board with the likes of Elizabeth Shaw and the rest of her no-doubt doomed cruise mission to discover the origins of the human race, those who were keen on seeing what the future held for Numi Rapace's unwavering explorer as she embarked on a quest to meet her maker in Scott's Alien Covenant were dealt a rather fatal blow in the end. In a clear response to the divisive reaction to Prometheus, Scott instead opted to pull the focus back onto his beloved Xenomorphs for this follow-up, relegating pretty much all of Shaw's mission to the background, as it's later revealed that she perished off-screen on the back of the unsettling android David's shocking massacring of the engineers. Making matters worse, it's also revealed that she eventually became the subject of David's creepy experiments and was horrifically mutilated by the unsettling bot. Number 2. Spider-Man and Venom Finally Collide – Spider-Man No Way Home the sight of Tom Hardy's anti-hero eyeing up his next meal in the form of a certain Tom Holland's web-slinger in Let There Be Carnage's end credit scene was enough to leave even the most disappointed of Venom fans walking home with a smile on their mugs. After what felt like an eternity of teases towards a shared live-action Spider-Man universe, actually involving, you know, the titular Marvel figure, it looked as though Sony and Marvel Studios were finally on the cusp of delivering a Spidey Venom showdown in the upcoming No Way Home adventure. Despite the return of many a past Peter Parker, and other notable antagonists from prior Sony flicks, however, Venom was nowhere to be seen in the film's epic climax. Instead, Hardy's Eddie Brock and Venom were left discussing the history of the MCU in general with a bartender before being sucked back into their universe in another end credit scene. Perhaps most frustrating is the fact that there were initially pitches to have Venom rock up in that Statue of Liberty skirmish at the end, but for reasons that may eventually become clear, the call was made to simply have him leave behind some symbiote goo instead. Number 1. The Original Trilogy Leads All Sharing the Screen Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens 
The return of Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford in Disney's first ever entry into the galaxy far, far away brought with it a justifiable amount of expectation from those who had grown up adoring their original trilogy showings. And while The Force Awakens was also tasked with introducing a wave of new leading lights for audiences to connect with, the idea of seeing Luke, Leia, and Han sharing the screen one last time was likely all most audience members needed to convince them to fork out their dollar for a ticket on opening night. Only that aforementioned scenario never actually came to pass, with Han and Leia only sharing a few brief back and forths, and Luke being sidelined for pretty much the entire first sequel entry. Sure, this may not have been purely their story anymore, with the likes of Rey, Finn, and Poe now driving the trilogy forward, but not delivering a single frame of the OG gang back together again before each character's emotional deaths over the course of the latest trilogy felt like a rather deflating missed opportunity when all was said and done. And that's our list of any other movie moments everybody was waiting for that never happened. Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more awesome articles just like the one this video you're watching right now is based on. I have been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this video today. Hopefully, I will see your faces very, very soon, but in the meantime, stay safe.